Jason, I've been looking everywhere for you. Figures I would find you here at the bar. Mm, surprise, surprise. Don't you just know me so well, Julie? But I don't understand. Why didn't you just use the new Blue Mountain app? It's got find your friends. It's got trail and slope conditions. It's got the weather forecast. It's even got something on it where you can track your speed down the mountain. That's great. Why didn't I think of that? I don't know. All the information's online, bluemountain.ca slash app, and you can even download it directly from there. Amazing. Well, I'm going to go track my speed on the slopes, and you save me a spot at the bar. I already got her name on a table. It is exciting times here on the slopes at Blue Mountain. As you can see behind me, they're putting the final touches on the course for the 2013 World Cup Snowboard Cross, and we are so stoked to have athletes from all over the world competing right here on our slopes. You can be here to cheer on Canadian snowboarders on home snow, including 2010 Olympic gold medalist, Myel Ricker, who's fresh off another gold medal win at the World Cup Snowboard Cross Championships. Dominique Melte will be another one to keep an eye on as she placed a close second, putting Canada in the one and two spots at the World Cup Snowboard Cross Championships in Stoneham, Quebec. This event is free to watch, not to mention totally thrilling. Qualifiers take place on Friday, February 1st, and finals will be on the 2nd, and all the event details are on our website. Following the World Cup, we've got Super Bowl Sunday coming up. Hit up Jozo's to watch the game on the big screen with your friends. They've got drink specials plus all the best Super Bowl munchies you can imagine. Finally, our photo of the week comes to us from our Twitter friends at Vacay Canada. They shared this snowy shot of the L Hill lift with us this past weekend. Keep your photos coming, we love seeing them. Now here's Jay with a special guest. So as you all know, World Cup Snowboard Cross is coming back to Blue Mountain this weekend, February 1st and 2nd. We're here with Blue Mountain team rider Taylor Wilton, who's also a Collingwood local and who competed in the event last season. Unfortunately, she's out this year with an injury. She'll be back on snow too. Taylor, can you give us a little bit of background about yourself? Yeah, for sure. Um, I've been living in Collingwood my whole life. Uh, I've been riding for the last 15 years, competing for the last seven. Uh, last year, I started my first bit of the World Cup tour, uh, starting it out on home soil here at Blue Mountain. Um, had a pretty successful event. I finished top 16, and then I moved on to the next event in Stoneham, Quebec, where I finished top 15. It was pretty exciting. So, what was it like competing in your first World Cup right here at Blue? It was pretty exciting. Um, I was stoked to just get the World Cup invite, just to start off. But to be competing on home soil was pretty amazing. Um, I was pretty nervous. I knew a lot of locals would come out and support, so I was feeling a little bit of pressure. But overall, I finished top 16, so I was pretty stoked. Yeah, that's a really, really good result. Now, if you were to give people one reason why they should come and check out the event this weekend, what would that be? Um, well, I mean, you have like some of the best athletes in the world uh, competing all at the same time, head to head, four people at a time, wanting the exact same thing in the exact same moment. So it makes them for some pretty heated competition. Um, got some of the fastest speeds and the craziest bales going. I couldn't have said it better myself. Don't miss it this weekend, the only World Cup event coming to Ontario this winter right here at Blue.